Hi everyone, welcome back. Welcome to day two of Cards Every Day in April. Something a bit weird here today. This is a blank card. Obviously not a card with nothing on it. A card with the word blank straight across the middle. Now this is a Pokemon card. It does have a regular Pokemon back. So you may be wondering, what is this card? You know, where does it come from and why does it exist? Now, as you probably know, Pokemon cards aren't printed as individual cards. They're printed on sheets and then cut up. You can kind of see one just hiding behind me on the wall there. That's one of the fossil hollow sheets. So, what they need to do is sometimes they will not fill the entire sheet with Pokemon cards. Now, there are reasons behind this. There are 121 cards traditionally on your standard sized sheet. And they want to kind of keep the ratios of Pokemon the same. So if they're printing, you know, all the hollows for a set and the number of hollows isn't divisible to 121, then they will have some extra gaps at the end because they don't want to print extras of certain hollows. Or if they're printing some 60 card decks, they're going to have two sets of 60 and then an extra card at the end. And they fill it in with something like this. There are a few different versions. There's the fully white card with the yellow border still. This has the word blank on it. And the coolest one, I think they only did when Watsy was doing it, is the back of a Pokemon card, but in black and white, so grayscale. Those look really, really cool. So up until about a month ago, these didn't show up very often. You're hard-pressed to see them popping up in, you know, the Facebook groups and stuff. But recently, a lot have. That is because I, along with some others, pulled these out of pre-release kits for the latest set. So obviously when you buy your Brilliant Stars pre-release kit, you have your four packs and then you have your sealed 60-card deck. And the 60-card deck is what this came in for me and what it's been coming in for a lot of other people too. So as I said, on the sheets, they likely have two 60-card decks and then the one blank card. Obviously, the blank card is never meant to be sent out. It's supposed to be disposed of. But it seems that a greater than usual number of these have been sneaking into pre-release kits. Now, that's not to say that this card is suddenly really common or that you're going to see them everywhere and you're going to very easily be able to get one. There are still a small number of them coming out. It's just a greater number than we have seen in the past. Generally, cards like this would not be anywhere near the top of my priority list for cards I wanted to buy, but since I actually pulled it myself, there's no way I'm getting rid of it. And it is definitely a very cool card with a very cool story. And that was day two of Cards Every Day in April. Hopefully you enjoyed this one, and hopefully you'll join me again tomorrow for some more cool cards. Thanks for watching. Check out some more videos right here. And don't forget to subscribe for more awesome Pokemon content from DJ Gigabyte. Gotta, Gotta catch, catch them all! all. <laughs>